Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I'll be um, doing a tiny uh, so-called review and also a uh, little lecture on tactical knife fighting. So after our first uh, episode, <laughs> uh, yeah, it seems like people are liking it. So I'm making the second read here. Uh, this is the Coast Steel Bowie Machete. <clears throat> Very badass looking, and most importantly, I got the sticker off. Yay! <laughs> the blow dryer trick worked. So, yeah, here we go. And surprise, the machete came sharp. <clears throat> Unlike the other uh, costume machete, like the Latin panga, and so on, uh, this one comes sharpened. The edge is very sharp. <clears throat> let's test it out okay let's see you don't even need to do any sharpening at all see it's very sharp and also there is a um, false edge here on the back edge and guess what this is also sharp let's take a look I'm using the other edge here you can still cut with it see it's very deadly you see so yeah, the, the, you can cut with the front edge or the back edge, and it's very badass. Anyway, <clears throat> so, the handle here, it's like a Latin machete kind of handle, and it's, well, it's about the same thing actually, typical coast do stuff. Um, yeah, when you, when you grip the handle like this, okay, this, um, whatever you call that, Okay, it stops your hand from slipping out. So it gives you a nice, uh, secure and firm grip. Uh, I'm not a big guy, uh, about five, five feet five, something like that. But when you grab, okay, you see my hand is not a huge hand. And if you're a bigger sized man, okay, this here gives you a little bit of more space to grab the handle. So yeah, it's nice. And also, <clears throat> Uh, you you have to see this right here you see right here this little part here is not sharpened okay that's a very good safety feature actually when you're holding the knife like that and chopping okay chopping and then you slip at least your hand does not go right into the blade the edge area so it gives you a kind of a bit of safety uh, spot here so that oops and then you know you have to go back, right? So yeah, actually it's one of the uh, feature that you may not notice. <clears throat> and also the blade here, it got the very nice pointy edge, uh, pointy pointy tip. Okay, so because both sides of the tip are sharpened, you see this is the false edge and this is the uh, main edge. Okay, close up again. Okay, you see that. <clears throat> You got this false edge and the main edge. Yeah, so, okay, here, clearly, you can see that. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you can see that because both sides of the blade have an edge to it, so um, it acts like a sword or a spear kind of thing. It gives you the geometry to poke or to stab um, easily into the target or opponent or whatever okay so if um, it's like a normal blade and it doesn't have that false edge there then uh, when you stab there will be resistance on one side but then if there's two side two edges then uh, it can stab through easily so this is one of the strong uh, advantage with the Bowie machete the false edge is sharpened, or at least I can say semi-sharpened. Ooh, semi is sharpened. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so it's sharpened. <laughs> okay, um, if yours is not really sharp, take a file or uh, maybe a stone, and then go like that, scrape the angle a few times. It will be sharpened. Very easy. Um, yeah. So the advantage of the Bowie machete here is not only the edge that is sharp but also the false edge that you can go reverse cut okay back cut like that or you can also use the tip to
to poke and it will also do the job nicely. It acts like a spear, big blade, big knife, and also little hook here, okay, this back edge here can act like a um, hopper kind of thing. <clears throat> now, back to the tactical knife fighting stuff, okay? So I know not everyone needs to take a blade and go out and fight and stuff, but you guys all like this channel because we talk about stuff that you cannot usually do, right? <laughs> So yeah, it's cool to learn about knife fighting and uh, yeah, just for the sake of learning, <laughs> whatever, okay, if whatever, you got those knowledge in your brain and one day if you need it, you know, things pops up and save your life, it's really important. And here I would like to talk about uh, how to use the Bowie machete to maximize the advantage and utilize everything. Usually when you pick up a knife, okay, everyone knows that there is slashing, like this, whoosh, like an X, slash, 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 or you go whoosh, like that slash, right? Okay, forget about that. <laughs> we don't, we're not talking about those movie kind of fighting here. This is realistically like real life knife fighting. So in a real life fighting, speed, efficiency is very important. And the first thing you will notice if you ever ran into a fight is that people get exhausted very fast. There are a few factors that get you exhausted. One is the panic factor, okay? No matter with a knife or with fists, both sides feel like they're racing, okay? You feel that you don't want to be hit, but you want to hit the guy. <laughs> so most of the time it ran into a scoring game. People don't really remember that the fight is about whatever. They remember that they want to score. So most people then take the knife and then they go like, okay, one, okay, three point, <laughs> five point, <laughs> like that. And then they start to tag, tag each other. They try to go like one and then back, 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 and then two. And then, whoo, run around, bouncing around, you know, that kind of silly shit, okay? You, this is not fighting. And while you bounce around, you don't realize that you're doing cardio exercise. So, <laughs> you know, that kind of Bruce Lee movie kind of stuff has brainwashed a lot of people to believe that when you want to fight, you need to bounce around. <laughs> you know, try jumping right now, eh? See if you get exhausted. It's stupid, okay? First rule, do not jump. <laughs> we are not vampires like the Chinese vampires, okay? Don't hop around. Stand there, still. Save your energy. <laughs> okay, save your energy. Second thing is the panic. Try to utilize that panic factor on your blade. Okay, think about it, okay? If you're scared of being hit, the guy in front of you must be also scared being hit by this thing, right? Now, um, let me ask you a question. Everyone, look at that. If the blade here, okay, blade, now you can see the edge, right? If I go like that, or like this, will you want to run into me and try to do Like that? Or you want to try to punch me and go Aah! like this? Will you? My blade is here. It's not going away. Come forward. Okay? Come forward. I put my hand here and my elbows. You see my elbow? Go inside and secure it right here. Even though you push hard, the elbow is supporting it. My other hand is also supporting it, okay? My, my blade is here, it's not moving. Now I am like a mountain, a stone. Okay, planted onto the ground. Now you try to rush forward, let's see who dies. Even though you don't move, okay, the guy come forward and push himself through your blade. You see the point? <laughs> okay. When you hold a blade, you are already lethal. 
You don't need to move to cut people sometimes. They bang into you and you save energy, right? Okay, so now let's talk about how to apply this kind of theory. Okay, everyone, now we'll um, stand with both legs, okay? Both legs um, side by side, parallel, like both, both legs are spread out like how you usually stand up with both feet apart. Now let's hold the blade with the right hand and we'll step back the left foot. Okay, step back the left foot. Okay. Now our right hand and right leg are forward, right? Okay. Now let's do this. Left hand, left hand, okay everyone? Left hand, put it on the chest. Okay, facing forward, we're facing forward still on the chest like this. The right hand holding blade, okay, go inside with the elbow down, go push the elbow toward the center here, the center of the chest, here. And then the hand push on here, like so. And now your balance should be a bit at the back, sitting on the back leg. Okay. Right now you feel firm about your posture. If you got a friend, okay, okay, one more thing, sorry. Um, try to bend the back leg a bit so that you feel like you're sitting on it. And the front leg must not be straight. Also keep an angle, tiny angle there. And then your back, your back here should be a bit like this. Okay, tucked in here and here, tucked in, okay? So right now you should feel that there's a posture, uh, there's a structure here. You feel that your feet are pushing, pushing on the ground in a triangle kind of structure. Now, when you're ready, okay, and you feel that this is um, pushed in and in like that, okay? Try to get a friend or your relatives, whatever, and tell them to put a palm here, palm here, and push. When they push, you learn, okay, remember everyone, you learn to eat the force by using your back leg, your left leg, okay? Push forward with the, with the back leg while keeping the elbows in. They will not be able to push you down, okay? If they go like this, use two hands like that to push forward and you eat the force. Put this hand here to support and then sink in like that and let them push. If they push hard, your back leg push harder. If they push light, you just sit there and don't push forward, okay? Don't over exaggerate the movement. With this kind of practice, you've got to learn how to eat a big amount of force with your structure. Now, let's put this into a uh, practical fighting situation. If people are coming toward you, okay, uh, with whatever, they rush toward you, you just put your posture here in position, and they come forward, their body will bang into your blade. So, two things can happen. One, they will hesitate and not go forward. The second thing is they might rush forward and bang into your edge. Okay, this is the first uh, very simple kind of uh, thing that you can do. Now with this here, everyone, there are two things that you can do. You want to strike forward and you want to back off. To strike forward, remember your blade is here. You don't need to go like that. This is too much. So everyone, you go forward by sliding forward your step. With your right foot, you slide up. Okay, so with the right foot, you slide up while your blade dip. Let's take a look at this sideways, people. Okay, guys, let's take a look. Slide forward and dip. Slow motion here. Slide forward and and then back here. Slide forward and dip. When you go like that, you're using the edge to chop 
if I short distance and chop into the person's neck right here it doesn't take a lot of force to chop it okay trust me buy some meat from the supermarket take this blade and go it will go in okay if your blade came like that and it dipped into the meat it can kill someone okay so here you go step forward and chop this is the forward attack to back off is the same thing we back off with the back leg going backward and attack you see let's go okay backward and attack again backward and attack you see still keeping the posture so everyone take a look backward and attack when you do this it backs the guys off while you also back off do not keep bouncing just slide one step and then back to position so this is the most basic way to um, defend attack back off very easy right to utilize the pointy tip and the back edge here everyone you need to know that this tip can stab easily okay so when you see like our first lecture there's a square right so when it comes from this side or this side the upper left or right corner we do this everyone take a look upper left corner block stab see block with the edge here block and stab upper right corner you use this to stab into the target and then slash or you can slap into, uh, stab into the target and then stab and then go up and attack the stabbing here, okay, imagine someone also holding a knife going like this. And you aim at this spot here to stab it. Okay? Just look at that and go stab and then like this. You see? The guy is coming from here, stab, and then attack. Very easy, eh? It looks very simple, but take some drills and stuff. So you can do that yourself like backward the block and stab and then stab and attack like that so everyone so this is my little mini lecture on the um, <laughs> tactical knife fighting with the Bowie machete we utilize the edge the back edge the pointy tip and also you learn to um, save energy and avoid some stupid movement that are always in the movies like that <laughs> bouncing around okay remember use this body structure to fight do not use the body to swing around like that to fight use the body structure your mass is the greatest weapon it provides more energy power and also knock down the guy easily with the body mass okay imagine how much force you can put with the weight of your arm compared to the weight of the whole body that's the difference okay so thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye bye